Hey, what is up everybody? This is Steve from Reach coming to you here today. I'm driving down the interstate. And I got my freaking dome light on like I'm Stone Cold Steve Austin traveling all around uh, uh, making towns back in the day. If you ever listened to his podcast, he said that this was sort of uh, one of the things that he always did uh, was driving around with a dome light on. It. It's, uh, it's, it's sort of something that he picked up um, working towns back in the day. That's what all the other guys did. So it's just what he did too because that's what they told him to do. Um, but uh, the big story of the day is the Royal Rumble um, is going to be debuting a women's Royal Rumble match this year. Um, still a lot of questions about what that means, uh, what, what the match is going to be. Is it just Monday Night Raw because Stephanie was out there with the girls of Raw? Is SmackDown going to be invited as well? Will the championships be on the line with Alexa Bliss and Charlotte? Um, having their gold out there, or is it just uh, to have a winner crowned and for somebody to go after the championship? Um, the early buzz um, that is circling around right now that this is, will be Ronda Rousey's debut coming into de uh, WWE. This is something that people have always sort of really wanted. Um, the only thing with me is that I do understand it would be cool for Ronda Rousey to win the Royal Rumble. Uh, become the number one contender uh, to go on and face maybe Charlotte uh, for the SmackDown's Women's Championship at WrestleMania. Um, the only story for me is that I've heard a lot of stories out there that um, Ronda Rousey was close to signing a deal to be in WWE. I've heard that Ronda Rousey, um, um, the, the talks aren't as close as people think. You know, the stories are all over the place. Um, but you know what makes me wonder is are they bringing Ronda Rousey in as a full-time performer um, because I was under the implication that I thought that Ronda Rousey was signing a deal to sort of uh, you know I, I guess you can say be a celebrity uh, in WWE where she would you know just work um, you know a big match here or a big match there uh, I'm not saying that it's just going to be a one-off where we see her once like Lawrence Taylor at WrestleMania and then we never see her again. I mean, she is a big time wrestling fan. I, I don't want to say that she has nothing else really going on in her life at this time, but I mean, she's not going to be fighting in UFC anytime soon. So is she tra training just for one match or is she somebody that we're going to see normally throughout the year on, on Raw and SmackDown or I guess maybe even make house shows? Um, I'm just wondering, you know, when Ken Shamrock came from UFC, he became a real performer on the real roster. Um, when Brock Lesnar came from UFC, Brock, um, you know, only works very sparingly on house shows, just in big markets that help sell tickets that need help. Um, Los Angeles, Houston, um, you know, it's always a big deal uh, when Brock wrestles the house show. Um, and then he doesn't even really wrestle on TV. He just shows up and pushes pay-per-views and that's where he makes his money. Uh, is Rousey pretty much going to get the same exact sort of deal just uh, uh, for what she's doing and she'll be on the roster but she's only around you know, for a few months out of the year. Um, I would love to see it. One way or another, I'll take it. Uh, I know that the Women's Championship sucks to say. The women's championship doesn't mean as much as the men's championship. So even if she went on a tear where she won the women's championship and the you know it wasn't around as often on SmackDown, because I'm guessing she's going to face Charlotte. Um, that's, that's the money match that I would want to see. Um, you know, you're not really going to miss her, even if she sits out from WrestleMania all the way until SummerSlam before they have the rematch. So um, we'll see more to come on this story and I'll see you guys down the road.